When it comes to people, you know, singing and paying tribute to other stars out there, when it comes to paying tribute to Merle Haggard, this guy really knows how to um, sound like the man. But in fact, actually, he just sounds like himself and just happens to sound like Merle Haggard. <laughs> We've got uh, Doug Patrickman joining us here on the program today. Doug, how are you doing? Good morning, Wally. How are you today? I'm doing <laughs> fine, thanks. I'm, I'm well, thank you. I'm glad that we were able to finally make this connection. Well, it took a while, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, and I knew I wanted to get a hold of you by this weekend because this weekend you've got a, a performance happening out there in the Fort McMurray region. We'll get to that here shortly. But let's talk first about your whole start in music and um, when did you realize that this whole Merle Haggard thing came to be? Because obviously, like I said, you just it's, you sing in your own style. Yes. And you just happen to sound like the man. <laughs> well, well, thank you very much. That's a nice compliment. But uh, for me, I think, uh, like, well, we've met, met a lot of great uh, people in our arena here and uh, was ha actually uh, sharing the stage with Donnie Perani one night, and uh, he was up here uh, doing a gig, and when we were all done, we were sitting down having a coffee, and he said, you know, he said, y you, should, you should make a, a Haggard tribute CD. And I said, well, you know, I kind of thought about it. He said... Well, yeah, he said, go ahead. He said, you got nothing to lose. So into the studio we went and laid down 10 tracks, and away we went. <laughs> now, when you, prior to going into the studio to record this album, had you been doing tributes to Merle Haggard? Uh, well, pretty much it's always been my... Uh, I've always covered various types of music, but, uh, you know, the Haggard thing has always been a very strong point for me, and then when you listen to the public and people say, my goodness, man, you sound just like him. And, well, it's, it's not that you're trying to sound like him. It's just that that's what comes out, right? So Yeah, yeah. And this is something you've been doing for uh, for pretty well all your life. You've been singing and performing. You started at uh, back in your teens? Yeah, I started playing when I was actually, I was five. And then uh, uh, my first illegal gig, I guess as you would call it, I was, <laughs> I was 15. but uh, And I kind of never look back after that you know i mean i've always held a day job as well but but uh yeah i've been playing pretty steady now is this something that runs in your family or is this something that you just picked up on your own well no we're all uh, uh come i have uh, seven siblings and uh, of course mom and dad and we're all relatively musical so it's it's something that's always been in my life one way or another mm -hmm. right so and you got your family back east you that's where a lot of them um i hail from that's correct. Yeah, I'm from a small uh, community, uh, Oxford, Nova Scotia, and uh, well, my brother is here in Edmonton and sister. Uh, uh, I have two here, and then the rest of them are in Nova Scotia. Now, when it comes to paying tribute to, to, to Merle Haggard, and when you took this out on the road, were you getting uh, more demand to perform and people calling you to come play it? Well, we, we got pretty busy for... I would say about five years ago, it mm -hmm. was re it was really busy, and then it was just it it got to be too much, you know. Like I say, trying to work a day job and yeah. and uh, but not busy enough to actually go do it as a li as a living, right? So that's kind of why we're at the point now. It's like okay, I'm going to put some material of my own out there and hopefully mix both together and see what happens so yeah we've got doug patrick and joining us on the program here today and you said material of your own because you are also in the process of putting out an album later on this year you've That's got correct. a single that you just released to radio and just happens to be your very first song that you're releasing to radio yeah that's correct yeah we uh well like i say we did the haggard tribute one and we put a christmas album out and uh and uh, then I said, oh, okay, it's time for me to do my own thing. So it's, uh, it'll be uh, titled, Pay, I have paid my dues, and uh, we're hoping to have it ready for September. Now, this album is going to continue in that style of the, the traditional sound of country music, something that you've always uh, had performed and, and been very fond of throughout your whole life. Yes, that's correct, Wally. It's just like I, I've played, like I said earlier, different varieties of music, but this is... Uh, this is me. <laughs> you know, it's hard to get away from that classic country music sound, and and I just uh, honestly believe that we need more of it. So that's, and, the, that's the mission I'm on. And the single is called Someday. This is a song that you actually had written a while ago, but it just 
took a while for you to find the music to go along with it. Well, that's 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 pretty much it. Yeah, I wrote the song in about 20 minutes, and then it was about uh, four or five months putting the music together. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, it's like, okay, I guess I'm labeled as pretty fussy when it comes to my music, according to the boys in the studio, but... Uh, <laughs> As you can tell when you're when you listen to the song, it, it took me a while, but I ended up getting what I wanted. So, and obviously, staying in in a style of m- music that you're most comfortable with. Correct. Yeah. Yep. And very something that's so. been very passionate there for you. Yes, it has been. It's it's, it's worked in the, in the past, and I think that's uh, the road I'm going to stay on. <laughs> it's my comfort zone. Now that album you're saying is going to be coming out a little later on this. Uh, later on this year, around September. That's correct, yep. Um, and when that album does become available, uh, is it going to be available online? Uh, I haven't really bought into the online thing yet. Uh, we saw a lot just uh, uh, on stage, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, like via the Facebook thing and the old the old school method. But, uh, you know, we're looking at the, the iTunes thing and and uh, it's just something I've never really bought just yet. But yeah. Uh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, people can get a hold of you there on Facebook as well. That's correct. If they would like to maybe purchase your tribute album that you've got available. Mm-hmm. And this coming weekend, you got a gig happening out there in Fort McMurray. Yeah, we're at the Boomtown uh, three nights. So if you get bored, jump in your car and come on up and listen to some great classic country music. <laughs> a great evening of fun, and I'm sure they're going to be able to hear the uh, maybe some material from the upcoming new album. Well, we're looking, uh, I got two that I do in my program now, so, yeah, there's a pretty good chance. (laughs) All right, well, Doug, I want to thank you so much for for coming in here this morning. We're going to take a listen. That new song, Someday, had a chance to listen to it here the other day, and you you really do stick to that traditional sound of country music, and great to hear that, you know, people like yourself are still doing that. Well, thank you very much, Wally, and thanks for having me on, and uh, enjoy.